I'm a rock, so I have no need for manners. Good manners show others that we care the way we eat. Speak and share shows others that we're aware of the need for manners. I don't share my house or home, no one cares that I'm all alone, so I have no need for manners, you're lucky you have manners, and the friends my that turn. come from your them, my turn. good manners your help turn. you my make turn. and keep your, your friends, my turn. Your turn. while bad my manners turn. chase your them, chase my them turn. all your away. Turn. Learn the difference, and you will never be a lonely rock like me that has no need for manners. I'm a rock, so I have no need for manners. Good manners Delicious. help you digest you. your food. Delicious. Chewing Thank fast you. or loud is very rude. Your tummy Yummy. needs to be Yummy. in the mood and cries for the need for manners. I don't work, play, or go to school. Places where I'd have to follow rules, so I have no need for manners. You're lucky you have manners, and the friends that come from them. Good manners help you make and keep your friends, while bad manners help chase them all away. Oh no, learn the difference. And you will never be a lonely rock like me that has no need for manners. There was once a little boy named Manny who liked to kick stones. And one day, he kicked me. Ouch! Oof! Owie! You talk. Of course I do. I'm a switch stone, I said. A switch stone? With me in your pocket, you can switch places with anyone you like. Anyone? As long as they want to trade places with you. Manny put me into his pocket and skipped off to see who he might want to become. <laughs> Manny wanted to be just like his dad, so he waited and waited for him to finish working. Finally, he got impatient and whined. Dad! <coughs> Manny wanted to grow up and be just like his daddy, but, well, he wasn't sure he wanted to work all the time. Everybody likes Jocko. I would really like to trade places with him. Manny watched him hit a home run. And the crowd cheered. Jocko smiled and walked right past Manny. Jocko would never want to trade places with me. Manny sat down on the grass to think of someone else he might want to be when five dogs started to wrestle right there in front of him. <laughs> How will I know if a doggy wants to trade places with me? You simply ask it. I can make the dogs understand you. Excuse me. Ex excuse me. Excuse me. Um, would any of you want to trade places with me? Not when you ask so rudely. One of the older dogs informed Manny rather crossly. How should I ask? Standing above us is not very polite. The only nice way to get our attention is to butt us with your head. Manny got on all fours and butted each of the dogs with his head until he had their undivided attention. Is there any one of you that would like to be a little boy for a while so that I could be a dog? The dogs all laughed at the idea. It seemed they enjoyed being dogs very much. Then a little voice came from behind the bushes and a puppy named Cropper came out. Can I play him a little boy? Only if your mother lets you. 
Cropper's mother was a very refined dog. She told Manny and Cropper that they could only trade places if Manny learned some dog manners and Cropper learned how to be a proper boy. What are manners? The things that we do and say that make other people or dogs want to be around us or not. Good manners make others comfortable, and bad manners chase them away. If we have bad manners, eventually we will be all alone. Good manners help us to make friends and keep them. Cropper showed Manny how to eat with the best dog manners. Make the best slurping and chomping noises you can, and then everyone can be sure that you really like your food. Eat as fast as you can and growl if anyone gets near your bowl. Manny growled a practice growl. Cropper barked with delight, certain that Manny was a very fast learner. Teaching Cropper was a bit more difficult because people are a bit pickier when it comes to eating right at the table. Table manners begin before the food even gets to the table, and this may be a real challenge to you because dogs don't normally sit upright, but only food and dishes go on the table. No elbows or hands or paws. And once you sit, you are to stay there until you ask permission to leave. Uh, I know how to sit and stay. Cropper sat upright and waited very patiently for dinner to be served. Now, carrots were Manny's favorite vegetables, but it was clear that Cropper didn't think much of them at all. Eating is an adventure we get to experience our whole life through. Manny felt himself sounding just like his father. And it begins by trying everything that is served to you, even if we don't like it. Cropper bravely lit the carrot off his plate. No, no! Don't play with your food! I'm trying everything that is put before me, just like you told me! You're talking with your mouth full. Poor Cropper. He was trying his best, and Manny wasn't being very patient. Let's start with something you like to eat and silverware would be just the thing. Let's use silverware, and then you won't be playing with your food. Cropper waited patiently while Manny gathered a huge bowl of table scraps from the kitchen. Thank you for waiting so nicely. Good manners includes making nice, pleasant conversation while at the table. Thanking me is very nice conversation. And thanking me for thanking you is even nicer. And thanking me for thanking you for thanking me is even nicer. And thank the you two continued to compliment each other until Cropper served nicer. himself up the entire bowl of table scraps. You're going to eat all of that? These are awfully good table scraps. I wouldn't want any of them to go to waste. Never take more than you can eat. You're going to have to eat everything that you have taken. I certainly will. Cropper assured Manny he would eat it all. But as he continued to eat, he got fuller and fuller. His eyes began to bulge and he struggled to swallow each new bite. Don't you like your food? I certainly do. You have done a marvelous job of preparing it. Thank you. And you are showing very nice manners when you tell the cook that you like the food, too. But I really can't eat another bite. Cropper confessed as he jumped down from his seat. Stay! Don't leave the table without asking. You can't Manny have any dessert scolded unless the poor you eat your doggy. I don't want to be a little boy. It's much too difficult. But I do so love table scraps. Would you like to take some in a bag? Cropper took the rest of the scraps out to his doggy friends and they gobbled them up all growling and snarling at each other. That night, at the dinner table, Manny ate with the best manners. He made pleasant conversation and never interrupted his mom or dad. He tried everything and only took what he could eat. 
As he wiped his face with his napkin and asked to leave the table, he thanked his mom and dad for preparing such a lovely meal. Manny's parents looked at each other with pride and turned to Manny. Manny, I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't have time for you today. What was it that you wanted to talk to me about? I wanted to tell you that someday I hope I can grow up to be just like you. Manny's father gave him a big hug, and as he squeezed him tight, Manny growled like Cropper might have done. <laughs> I'm a rock, so I have no need for manners. Good manners show others that we care the way we eat. Speak and share shows others that we're aware of the need for manners. I don't share my house or home. No one cares that I'm all alone, so I have no need for manners. You're lucky you have manners and the friends that come from them. Good manners help you make and keep your friends While bad manners chase them, chase them all away Learn the difference And you will never be a lonely rock like me That has no need for manners I'm a rock So I have no need for manners Good manners help you digest your food Chewing fast or loud is very rude Tommy needs to be in the mood and cries for the need for manners. I don't work, play, or go to school. Places where I'd have to follow rules, so I have no need for manners. You're lucky you have manners and the friends that come from them. Good manners help you make and keep your friends. While bad manners help chase them all away. Oh no, learn the difference And you will never be a lonely rock like me That has no need for manners